Last night was the Buffalo Bills annual red, blue, they call it a scrimmage. I think I'll call it an experience because they don't really scrimmage through the whole practice. It was really a practice. They did um, have some 11 on 11 scrimmage during it, some two minute drills and things like that. But it was, it's a lot like training camp, just it's at high mark and in front of a 36,000 fans instead of the fans that come out to St. John Fisher for practice. But um, it was a fun event. It's great to be at Highmark Stadium. I love that place. Um, I wish we weren't going to have a new Highmark Stadium because I'm not going to be able to afford that other place and I won't be able to go to events anymore and make videos like this, I guess, in a couple of years. But anyway, I digress. At this event, it, it was fun because um, we started out with the kickoff return and I wasn't able to really see much about how they were doing it, but it was interesting to see how they were lining up and things for a kickoff return. Um, the new method, it was the first time they've done it at practice and you know that, that was made it a little bit unique. Um, the, the wave at a practice is, is, is always fun. I think this practice was won by the defense, um, and, and in particularly by the defensive line. I know if you've been watching my videos, you know that Marcus West, the new defensive line coach for the Bills, has been working them hard, and you could see that that, that work is paying off. Um, we had deflected passes by Elianku, by Dwayne Carter. We had a um, couple of nice plays by Greg Rousseau and... Um, by Daquan Jones, and probably I think the player of the practice was Ed Oliver as he had a couple of what would have been called sacks during the practice. So great job by the defensive line. Then they went down into goal line drills. And a couple of years ago, when the Bills did goal line drills, they did one, two, three, four times trying to get it up the middle with Zach Moss, and they couldn't score in any of them. So I, I remember thinking, oh, this is going to be a long year. I'm scoring touchdowns on the run. They didn't do very good this time on the run either. Um, our defensive line shut them down for the most part on running plays uh, from the goal line. Now passing, they're getting really good at, and maybe it's because they're not so good at the run in the goal line, but they did have some nice plays. Uh, on the offensive side of the ball, Davidson, the tight end who I thought was the four-string tight end, he. He's making a run. That, that guy made a couple of very nice plays during practice. I wish they could keep all four of our tight ends. Maybe they can figure out a way to do that. Maybe this new kickoff rule will help them be able to do that. But, um, yeah, so Davidson looked good. Um, Morris looked good. Knox looked good. And Kincaid looked good. All the tight ends looked good. So we're set there. Um, wide receiver group, great plays. Um, Marquez Valdez Scanling had a nice catch. Uh, Coleman, Samuel, I mean, the same cast as I've talked about in other videos. Uh, Matt Collins, Shakir. It, it's always good to just see him moving the ball around, spreading it around. So um, that, that's it for that practice. Um, I'm, just, I'm really worried. The linebackers had a couple of interceptions, and, and there were some interceptions off deflected passes. And uh, one went off Curtis Samuel's arm and was intercepted. But I'm still worried about our safety position. That's my biggest worry on our team right now. What are we going to do at safety? So, um, you know, when we open up against the Cardinals in a couple of weeks, I would look for some deep passes because these safeties, you know, they just haven't been playing together. And we're not even sure who it's going to be. And we, we've been so spoiled over the last few years with Jordan Poyer and Micah Hyde back there that we knew that we were solid at safety so now biggest question mark is at safety so but you know what last year the biggest question mark was at linebacker and we ended up with Terrell Bernard who ended up being a bright point of the season last year so and uh, was a major contributor so maybe someone will, will step up at safety as well but we'll see um fun event I did get autographs from Terrell Bernard and Dion Dawkins Dion 
I think he loves this red blue practice because both of the last two years I've noticed he gets asked to leave by security. <laughs> Before any fans do, security goes down there and asks Dion to leave because he signed so many autographs. He would stay longer if he could. Um, Dion's just a great guy and um, was able to get something for one of my friends. Signed by him. Uh, it's a little bit of a secret, so I don't want to drop the ball too much more on that. But great practice. Fun to be at Highmark. Go defensive line. And go Bills. We got training camp back again tomorrow for number eight of ten. But for now, I'd say go Bills. And always remember, God loves you. Bye.